not paying so much attention And when you're moving in another direction Don't worry, I Hey guys, it's just me today as uh, mum and dad, they're trying to get on with some of the other bits that they got from the auction and stuff like that, so I thought I'll still head down to the car booth just to see if there's anything. I don't know if there'll be many people there because it's been absolutely chucking it down this week. It's been the worst weather we've had in ages. Uh, thankfully though, this morning's a bit dry, so should be a few people out. I was trying to get there as soon as possible before the rain starts coming again because it's still meant to rain today. But yeah, let's just hope we can uh, get a couple of bits, hopefully, you know, the rain might have scared off some people, saved some bargains for us, and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So we're just coming up on the car boot now, I can already see it, I think there's at least a row of cars, so that's a good start. Usually at this one, a lot of people arrive a bit later, so by like, I think it's currently sort of 6 o'clock at the moment, um, quarter to 6, 6 o'clock sort of thing, but by like five, 9, <laughs> by like 9, it's supposed to be filled up. But yeah, it's, uh, it's looking promising so far. Sun's out now, which is really nice. Hey guys, so we're back from the car boot, so I didn't do loads of recording at the car boot, I sort of got into it and was like, right, we're gonna buy some bits and pieces, and then I just completely forgot about the recording, but we've got, got a little sink in there. But I'll show you what I picked up while I was there, and we'll start with uh, these spanners. I got these from two different stores, but I paid 50p for, you know, 50p for that one, 50p for that one. They're King Dick spanners, King Dick adjustable spanners, they're lovely, if you ever see these, definitely pick these up. Uh, I picked up these mole grips, these long... Uh, grip mole grips. I don't know what you long whatever you'd say that bit is because I need these because I'm, I'm I'm actually make spoon rings. I make rings out of spoons, and a different way I've been trying to do it is uh putting a socket on one side and then holding it in place. But I need the long handle ones, a uh, long grip bit. So I paid a pound for that, but that's more for like you know making the spoon rings and all that sort of thing. Paid ten p for this fella, which is a Fimble's cuddly toy. It's still got the badge on it. Uh, 10p for that can't be too bad. Uh, it's from 2002, so it's, uh, that's that's vintage. That's retro, that one. I also got this for 10p from the same store. Uh, Cadbury World, like a chocolate? I think he's a chocolate or a bean. <laughs> I don't really know, but you know. Cadbury's World, 10p. I thought I'd pick it up. Um, I got these two St. Michael tins, Christmas tins. Uh, you know. Christmas, all times of the year, you know, you can't go wrong Christmas stuff. Uh, 50p each, so that's a quid for them to. I'm sure I'll get some of that. I sold St. Michael stuff before. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. I've got this for 50p. Uh, the Mighty Boosh Special Edition DVD. I think this is all seasons of the Mighty Boosh. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, it's practically brand new. I mean, the, the discs are in really nice condition, barely touched. Uh, yeah, 50p for that. I paid 30p for this Reader's Digest book of Strange Stories. Now, I sold a Reader's, Di Reader's Digest book the other day for £15. So we'll see how popular this one is. I paid uh, 20 Did I pay? Yeah, I think I paid 20p for this interesting little corkscrew. Corkscrew with the uh, handle. I paid 50p for these two bits, which are like butter dishes, I think. Uh, Holland on the bottom, they say Holland, uh, stainless steel. Uh, this umbrella, um, this nice 1993 tin. Uh, I paid 50p for those four bits. Again, quite happy with that. Uh, this I got for free on the way home. It's just, uh, it's no good, I'm going to chuck it back out, I think. But um, we got these. I paid £3 for this. These and these, they're Wii remotes. Now, I need Wii remotes to test my uh, Wii consoles that I've got because I've got about three or four consoles for selling. 
But last year, I sold all my controllers just because I didn't think, <laughs> you know, I, I just sold them. But I got them now, so I'm quite happy with that. It's got a little charging dock on there. This is more for keeping to, to test things so I can, so I can, you know, sell those bits. Um, I've got this as well, which is a. It looks handmade. I'm pretty sure it's handmade. Dominoes. Uh, and a little stand like that. It's a game. You can take this top bit off and you can play your dominoes and that. And uh, it's all there. But it's quite interesting. Uh, you know, it's sort of a bit unique looking. Handmade. People like that sort of handmade stuff. And then, this is something I'm very happy with. And this is more for myself, to be honest. But uh, I've been needing a microphone for the podcast that I do. Uh, which is Small Brain Podcast. Which you can find on YouTube. You know, check it out. Link in description. But I needed a, a microphone to, like, you know, uh, legitimise it a bit. So I've got this toner microphone, which is a good name for a microphone. So I uh, paid £2 for that. I paid a pound for this headset because it had this little port bit for microphones. And I thought it would work with that. And I also picked up a lapel mic, which you can sort of see. There's the lapel mic. And it had this sort of uh, adjust a bit with it. Adapter, sorry, with it. And um, yeah, I paid a pound for the lapel, two pound for the toner, and one pound for that. And it's a good thing I brought the lapel because this is actually too big, uh, too big like the plastic round. It's too big to fit into this bit, but this bit's skinny enough to go in there, and that fits into that. I've tested it, and it's all working, and I'm I'm really really happy with that. I almost got some wireless microphones on Facebook Marketplace not long ago for twenty quid, but um, I missed out on it. Uh, they already sold. But yeah, was, uh, uh, I'm happy to get that. That also, that toner microphone did come, wherever it is, with a um, little stand. But I'll have, to, I'll have to find that. Oh no, here. It just needs a little uh, screw in it, a little bolt in it. But it comes with this little stand. But I was probably just going to use it handheld. Because uh, I like, you know, handheld microphone. Nice wide handheld microphone. That's what I've been looking for for a little while. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I got from the car boot. I was there for a long while, uh, really trying to go around, see what they got. Didn't get tons of stuff, admittedly, but I was pretty happy with what I got. I'm going to whack them on now, because a lot of it's clean stuff. Like the book, the DVDs, all this stuff. Quite clean stuff, easy to go on, uh, get it gone. And, uh, you know, very happy with that for the podcast. That's priceless to me, you know, getting stuff like that. Because uh, I really wanted to get into it. And... Uh, like, you know, heavy and the microphone helps and everything like that. This one, this, check this out. No holes in it or anything. I've sold umbrellas before. It's quite a nice retro one. I sold tins before. That's quite a nice old tin. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with those bits and pieces. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Because we appreciate that. Uh, if you went to a car boot this weekend, this Sunday, <laughs> I don't know when this is going up. This will probably go up the same day. Um, let us know if you've got any bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, it's nice that the weather actually held up for a change because uh, it's been absolutely awful lately. And uh, the one day we get some sun, there was a car boot, so it's not all bad. But yeah, thanks for watching um, and we'll see you next time. Bye.